What's going on guys? My name is Brandon and welcome back to my life slash channel. Um, what I have for you guys today is a video where I'm going to talk about my one and only generic neat ass shoes known as the Roshi Runs. Now I, may, I bet you're thinking, you know, like how are your shoes unique? You know, I have Roshi Runs too. Mine are unique because I did some cool stuff to them. So yeah. First things first, what I want to talk about with the shoes is the main part of the shoes which draws everybody off is the cuts and rips in them. I know everybody's always like, you know, you probably got in a fight with a dog or something, yada, yada, yada. But to be honest, I don't care. The next part of the shoe that I want to talk about also is my happy face on the outside and my sad face on the inside. The reason I decided to make these shoes was because when I was in school, I used to see a lot of people with Roshi Runs last year. They became very trendy. Um, everybody was wearing them. And it felt like when I would wear my Roshi Runs, someone else would always be wearing their Roshi Runs. And I would just look like them and I know that's a little weird to be like you know I don't want to look like someone else but it doesn't really I I just didn't like looking like some other people that had their Roshi runs and similar outfits to mine and then all of a sudden were twinning so I decided to go home got some scissors and I cut up my Roshi runs now as I was cutting them I was like you know like hey I should make a deeper message behind this and yes there is a deeper message behind these ripped up shoes and I will explain now so first off, there's the smiley face on the outside. This is the sad face. Shit. So first things first, let me show you the smiley face. The smiley face represents people on the outside, how they feel, you know, when they're happy all the time and they're always smiling and you look at them and they're just like joyful. Once you get to the middle, all these rips come into play. The rips to me represent flaws, flaws that people have, you know, whether it's how they look like, things they don't like about themselves in terms of personality, but these are the flaws, you know, flaws and rips. Once you come over to this side, you have the sad face, and it all ties together in the sense that people that look happy on the outside and are always smiling have flaws as well. Every single person in the world has flaws and nobody's perfect, so that happy person has flaws. Meaning that sometimes you may not know, but a lot of people that seem to be happy on the outside are actually sad on the inside. Focus that real quick. Keep in mind, as I was making these shoes, I was, you know, a little depressed. But I'm not a sad boy anymore. But um, either way, I still love these shoes. These are probably my, honestly, my favorite shoes. Um, and what makes them so cool, not just because, you know, they're ripped and stuff like that, is because... They actually make, they add a pop to my outfit. You know, when you're wearing like an all black outfit and you have black shoes on, black and white shoes, having a pop of this tiny bit of gray, it makes a huge difference. I got the idea to rip off my shoe from the concepts of other ripped clothes and distressed clothes like jeans and shirts and sweaters. And I was like, you know, if we can do it with those kinds of clothes, why can't I do it with my shoes, you know? And yeah, it's always cool to try something out, and in the end, after trying it out, I love my shoes. Even if you think that I got in a fight with the dog, I don't care. Uh, that's about it. Um, if you want to go, you know, make your own shoes and kind of custom them as well, you know, do that. Experiment. It's not bad to experiment, you know. You might find something that you really like. If not, um, you're screwed. Uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe. Do a spin. And... <laughs> Peace out. Let me try something new.